Okay, sometimes, uh, let's see, what, what is this about? There are several ways to approach this um, when a number has passed a threshold. So I just wanted to show you, we've already talked about pass, but there's mm -hmm. other ways you can get the same sort of uh, feature. Here we have this threshold, and then we're just using the greater than object. So greater than what? That's what the threshold does. It tells you what the value should be. So let's set it at 0 0.5 here. And then uh, greater than, and it's it's always saying when you are above or, so it's evaluating the value that's coming in and, and, and determining whether it's above or below this, this threshold, greater than or less than this threshold. And then the change object only reports it, um, when that value is changed from one to zero or from zero to one. And, um, and then we're going into a select object that's saying past above, past below, selecting zero or one after you've gone through change to filter out these duplicates. Because right now it's sending out one, 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 one. Every time the number comes through, it's always going to uh, test it and see if it's above or below. But you only want to look at the transitions above, um, from zero to one or one to zero. OK. Um, this way of doing it here in this first gray box uses the greater than and the less than are equal to. So if we look inside here, we've got um, greater than and we've got less than or equal to. And in that case, it's not going to give us bangs. It's not going to give us zeros. It's going to actually give us a, a zero or one. So um, in that case, uh, we have passed below, passed above. Um, and really, uh, the thing to see here is that it's giving you the same data again and again and again. So let's print some of this data here. Print and we'll just connect it to this and clear these errors out. So now when I lock the patch and set the threshold, you can see it's saying one, 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 one. Every time new data comes in, it's gonna evaluate it and tell you that it's above or below. Um, now it's, uh, in terms of being above, it is not. It is zeroing the above statement. Um, now, the other one's always gonna be just the inverse of that. So um, another way to do that. All right, let's look at the second gray box. Let me close this. The second gray box uses two past objects, which is exactly what we just showed in the previous screencast uh, that will let you do past above and below. So it's it's the same exact thing. Um, so you say a threshold, we went above the threshold, we went below the threshold, and you get these bangs. That's nice. Um, and then you can do kind of a similar thing just with that split object we talked about. So here I'm splitting uh, between well, I'm inter interactively telling it what the split range is. So here, if I say 0.5, then when the data is below 0.5, it's gonna come out this outlet. And when it's above, the data is actually being routed. The data is actually being routed at this point to uh, the first inlet. So another way to do it. Um, yeah? Yeah. Okay.